Hey guys, so this time I decided to make a bread cutter maker box. Uh, maybe not a maker, but I guess a, a slicer box. Well, you know, the general premise is that, you know, you put your bread in here and you take a bread knife and you slice your bread, right? Also works great for bagels and, you know, this was really a great beginner project. You know, if you're new to woodworking and if you've only done a few projects, um, or even if you're just looking for a kind of a quickie to do on a, on a weeknight or on a weekend, um, this one was great. I only used one board for the whole thing and um, you know use my bandsaw and uh, some glue. You know the whole project like I said is really a, a pretty simple one to do. So uh, if you want to see more about how I did this and how I made it and uh, I also got a free project plan you know that I made for this. Check out my website at woodlogger.com and uh, here's the video of what I did to make this. Hey guys so on the uh, bagel maker I used a uh, four uh, by one and a half inch board and uh, I was able to get away with just a four foot board and uh, I actually used oak for mine and uh, I cross cut the, uh, the four boards that you see right here and uh, if you take a look at my plan over on my website woodlogger.com you'll see the uh, exact measurements that you'll need to make it and you know when you think about it it's, it's pretty simple you know it's just sort of you know these two things on the side and then, you know, you've got your back here, and uh, it kind of sits up in there. And, uh, you know, I'll, I'll draw a kind of a decorative corner around here to uh, get rid of some of the wood on both sides. So before I head over to the bandsaw, I just want to show a, a little trick that I like to do, and that's where I, I take both sides. And if you know you're going to be making an identical cut, you just kind of line these up and just use some tape. Uh, some people like double stick tape. That, that might actually work a little bit better. I, I prefer painter's tape. It's just cheaper and it, it's easier to take off. So now I've got my, uh, my two pieces taped up that I'm going to keep together. Now I want to go ahead and mark my corner. And I've, I've got this little measuring or marking tool rather. It's called a quick corner. And I use this thing all the time. I think if you had any skills whatsoever, <laughs> even remotely artistic or not, you could pull this off by yourself. But as I have none, I use this quite a bit. So with my quick corner, I've got my corner marked. I'm going to trim that off. And then I'll cut slice little slits here for where the uh, the bread or the bagel slicer will actually cut right through. And I've gone ahead and I've started to mark on the other side where I'm going to uh, actually cut these slits where the knife will actually slide down into it. And I'm spacing them out about a half an inch apart. Okay, well I think that looks pretty good. I've got my six marks on there. I just need to head over to the bandsaw. So I'm ready to uh, do my bandsaw cuts now. I'm just going to set my, uh, my depth on here. Yeah, I think I'll do at least maybe one stress, stress relief cut. So after I completed the, uh, the stress cut here, um, I just sort of followed my, uh, my lines and just, you know, took it slow and uh, it came off pretty easily, and uh, after I got the uh, the uh, sort of I guess the rounded corner here that I was going for, uh, next up was the um, the actual slits that are going to be cut on the box, and uh, I, I did this freehand, and um, what I found was that after I cut the original slit, I, I tested it with a knife just to see if it would go through. And it just wasn't thick enough, so I ended up going back and actually cutting it just a little bit thicker on each of the on each of the slits, uh, so that the uh, knife would have room to cut through the the bread. So I'm doing pretty good with my box, and my next step really is to work on getting this sort of glued together. And I think what I'm going to do this time, I'm actually going to do a technique where I kind of tape the back. All the sides together just using some masking tape. I've done this before in the past and it worked pretty well.
So now that I've got my, I've kind of got my, uh, my box taped up a little bit, at least the, I guess maybe the kind of the harder pieces. What I do next is I just take this off and I just lay it out. I'm actually going to use a, a, a waterproof glue as I'm sure this will be getting wet when we wash it. I think what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll clamp, maybe put just one clamp on this for now. And clear up some of my excess. All right, well, I've got this, I think, almost set. You know, I decided not to wait till it completely set, just in case I need it to uh, have some wiggle room for when I glue the bottom on. I think we're going to do that now. All right, well, I'm taking off the last of my clamps here. And the glue's dried. And I think it's probably pretty safe, just as it is, but out of maybe a, an overabundance of caution, I've decided to go ahead and put a couple brads in, uh, just to kind of sturdy it up a little bit. All right, well, I think that just about does it. Glue seems pretty good. I've got grabs on all my sides. Ooh, I don't think it's gonna go anywhere. All I need to do now really is just do a, a little bit of sanding. I'll probably just do a little bit of light sanding. And then uh, I'm gonna finish it off with a, um, a this product called Salable Finish, which I believe is just mineral spirits, but um, I've used it before on some other projects and it worked pretty well. That is my bread bagel slicer. We'll see how it goes.